everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you a really quick tutorial because I have a lot going on and I didn't want to leave you guys hanging so I'm just going to give you a really quick simple easy uh, kind of decoration slash gift idea for Easter and we are going to be using this jar, some fake grass, these little bubblegum eggs, and good old cotton tail here. So before we get started, if you are new and you are not subscribed to this channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you like this video, share it out for me so we can get to 10,000 so I can do that giveaway. Also, make sure you have your bell notifications turned on so you get notified every time I upload a video. And make sure you are also following me on Instagram. Of course, all of the links are below. And let's get into it. So oh, I just had this jar at home. Of course, I think you guys seen this jar during Easter. So I'm just kind of recycling this jar so I don't have to throw it away. It can be used. So first, we're going to put the grass in. And my grass is kind of broken up here because as you know from our last Easter DIY, we had to cut it up a little bit. And the kids actually loved that uh, Easter egg, plastic Easter egg centerpiece. So I'm really excited about that. This stuff can really be a nightmare to work with, <laughs> but that's why I buy the plastic kind as opposed to the other one because this plastic uh, fake grass is so much easier to clean than the other one, the paper one. So I'm just kind of giving our little bunny kind of like a... Um, what am I thinking of? I can't even think today. Uh, just kind of like a platform. And I want to have enough in here so it doesn't move around. So I think that's quite enough for now. So I'm just going to take old cotton tail here and just kind of place if it will fit. Oh, oh. Let's see. I'm going to get it in here. I broke the tail a little bit, but that's okay. So I kind of want it to sit in the center. So I'm going to make kind of like a little hole there. There we go. And so now, all we have to do is place in the eggs. And you could put little chicks in here, like the um, peeps, or like stuffed animals in here. You don't have to use a chocolate bunny. This is just what I'm using. There we go. That's a little bit better for me. And this candy smells so amazing. So I'm just going to throw in some little eggs here. sitting up So like I said, this was a really quick 
really simple kind of gift ideas slash a center piece kind of decoration you could put around your house I would suggest getting a smaller uh, item to put in because this would be great to um, be able to still eat this chocolate and I'm pretty sure with the top off this is going to get really stale so the kids won't be able to eat this which is fine with me because they have plenty of candy for Easter but if you want your kid or whoever you may be giving it to or putting it in the center of your home or some kind of other place to display it I would suggest getting something smaller so you can put the top on the jar or can or whatever it is that you may be using for the centerpiece or gift idea because if I close this I'm gonna break Bunny's ears and I don't want to do that because it's so cute <laughs> But here it is, and I will probably switch Bunny around just slightly so this is not the focal point. There we go. And because of the way I place the grass and the eggs, everything can just kind of shift around. So that's a little bit better for me. And I hope you guys liked it. I know it was really quick, really simple, but I have so much going on. And I don't want to not do videos for you guys. And I need to start planning ahead, but I haven't started doing that yet. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know any kind of cute gift ideas or decoration pieces that you may have for Easter or traditions that you may follow. Let me know in the comments below or you can send me a email or follow me on my social media and send me pictures of things that you like to do for the Easter holiday. And with that being said, thank you so much. Make sure you're watching, um, I mean, following me on Instagram. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place, but make sure you're following me on Instagram so you can see uh, updates of things that's going on because I will start posting a lot more on my Insta stories and my Instagram. Uh, also, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you like this video. Make sure also you have your uh, bell notifications turned on so you get notified every time I upload. And until next time, bye!